Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is McDonald Elisha Mtuma and as I said we will be studying together fundamentals of crop physiology and also fundamentals of soil science and this is a continuation from my, pre from my previous lecture uh, introduction to crop physiology and now we are going to be talking about role and significance of water in plants because in order for plants to survive in order for plants to live they need water and water is said to be the liquid of life even human beings in order for them to survive they need water so water is precious and water is important to both plants and animals so without wasting much of our time we will talk about the role of water and its significance to plants. Water has special properties that enable it to act as a solvent and to readily transport it through the body of the plant. These properties derive primarily from the polar structure of water molecules. Let's take a close look on the properties of water. The polarity of water molecules give rise to hydrogen bonds. So due to the water being polar, it rises the hydrogen bonds because water is composed of two molecules, the oxygen atom, which are covalently bonded to two hydrogen atoms. That's why water is called H2O, two hydrogen atoms bonded to oxygen atoms. The polarity of water makes an excellent solvent, meaning water is a solvent. We will see what we will be talking about when we say water is a solvent. Be patient. The thermal properties of water result from hydrogen bonding. The cohesive and adhesive properties of water are due to hydrogen bonding. I will repeat. The cohesive and adhesive properties of water are due to hydrogen bonding. This is a structure of water whereby it shows the negative uh, charge and the net positive charge and those are true those are two hydrogen atoms bonded to oxygen atoms. When we talk about water we, I said we'll talk about so water being a solvent and when we raise the issue of solvent it is clear that we should have a solute and hence we'll talk about a solute a solute is type of molecule which dissolves in another sub substance so every molecule which dissolves in another substance is called a solute for example we've got sugar We've got salt, those are solutes because they dissolve in water. And then a solvent, substance that dissolves the solute. The substance that dissolves the solutes is called a solvent. Meaning water is a solvent because salt or sugar can dissolve when, uh, when it is added to water. This diagram it simply shows a solvent and a solute meaning dissolve the solute in the solvent importance of water to plants water typically constitutes 80 to 95 percent of the mass of growing plant tissues and water is the main constituent of protoplasm comprising up to 90 to 95 percent of its total weight in the absence of water protoplasm becomes inactive and is even killed meaning the protoplasm can only survive when there is water let's move on to the next point different organic constituents of plants such as carbohydrates proteins nucleic acid and enzymes lose their physical and chemical properties in the absence of water so meaning proteins uh, nucleic acid and enzymes they lose their properties which are the physical and chemical properties when they are in short of water let's move on water participates directly in many 
metabolic processes, interconversion of carbohydrates and organic acids depend upon hydrolysis and condensation reaction. Water increases the rate of respiration. Seeds respire fast in the presence of water. Water is the source of hydrogen atom for the reduction of carbon dioxide in the reaction of photosynthesis, meaning water is needed to reduce hydrogen uh, to carbon dioxide in order for it to be used in the process of photosynthesis. Let's quickly move on. Uh, concentration examples. High solute concentration. Lots of sugar dissolved in a relatively small amount of water. This is what we call high concentration. The, solu the, so the solution will be high solute concentration if lots of sugars dissolved in a relatively small amount of water. If we add a lot, uh, if we add a lot of sugar in a small amount of water, we call it high solute concentration. And the low solute concentration is whereby little sugar dissolved in a relatively high amount of water. Water acts as a solvent and acts as a carrier for many substances. It forms the medium in which several reactions take place. Water present in the vacuoles help in maintaining the turgidity of the cells which is a must for proper activities of life and to maintain this form and structure. Water helps in translocation of solutes. In tropical plants, water plays a very crucial role of thermal regulation against temperature. Like the water regulates the body temp water regulates the temperature of a plant when it is exposed to high heat when it is exposed to high temperatures. The elongation phase of cell growth depends on absorption of water, meaning water it can also cause a plant to grow. It can also co it can also lead to uh, cell development, cell growth, and also cell elongation. The next subheading is uh, properties of water. The properties of water. Here we'll talk about the properties of water. And property number one, solvent for electrolyte and non-electrolyte. High specific heat, high latent heat of vaporization, cohesive and adhesive properties, high surface tension, high tensile strength, stabilizes temperature, transparent to visible radiation, and low viscosity. So I think uh, today we are done about water and its significance. The roles and the properties of water, we discussed about them. We also talked about the significance of water in plants. We also talked about the properties of water. So, for today, I think we are done. In the next lecture, we will be talking about uh, diffusion, which is the next uh, subheading, which is the next subtopic. So, in the next lecture, we will be talking about diffusion in plants and it is enhanced by water so please stay tuned subscribe to my youtube channel and please don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to receive other videos pertaining this uh, syllabus pertaining this topic and pertaining crop physiology thank you so much